What's up guys? So, had a question recently on my channel in regards to my diet. And you know, I made a video not too long ago about me being a vegan, and so of course, led to a question about you know how what I do to fuel myself. And you know, I understand that you know, most people probably aren't considering going vegan, but I have noticed that there is a lot of people looking to at least decrease the amount of animal products that they have in their diet. So let's face it, I mean who better to ask? Than a vegan, right? <laughs> so, especially someone that's active and has a similar lifestyle to them. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you pretty much what I eat, um, you know, in a, in a given week, I guess. Um, not that I have all the food I'm gonna you know, prep for the week, but it's the weekend at this moment when I'm making this video and I'm prepping my food for the week. I tend to do that on uh, Saturday afternoon, kind of watch TV and chill out um, and, and get this done at the same time. So, and let me, anyway, let me show you what I do. Okay, I put on my counter lots of different foods I'm gonna have throughout this week. Whoa. Okay, and I also put out a murder weapon. <laughs> um, all right, let's start over here and we'll go left to right. Uh, this I'm gonna have at some point, you know, for dinner, something like that. This I, I, I'll probably get something similar as well. Holy shit, this is really, really fucking good. I cannot believe it the first time I had it. I swear to God, I thought I was being tricked. And it was, I was having chicken breasts, but I don't know what they, I forget what they make this out of. I'm not going to bother looking at it. I guess you guys can look up on the line. Um, but oh, it is fucking good, man. Holy God. Anyhow, moving on. Uh, berries. Lots of these. A lot of times I'll have the berries after I train. Uh, let's see, in the afternoons, that is. And kind of have them as a snack. Before, because I, a lot of times I just don't feel like eating a good sized meal right after training. So I'll have that. Yeah, within 15 minutes, half hour after I'm done, and then eat a, eat a real meal. I don't know, probably an hour after I get done training. So you know, just the way my my stomach is. Um, all right, over here breakfast. I'll cut up two pineapples, and uh, you know, keep those in the fridge, have them for breakfast. Uh, potatoes, have them throughout the week, have them for meals or lunch. Uh, I got sweet potatoes in there as well as regular potatoes. Also have some Brussels sprouts in the bag. Didn't want to take those out of the bag. They'll just roll all over their goddamn place. <laughs> so, oh, here's my dinner I'm going to make for tonight. I'm in the process of getting it ready for tonight. It's gazpacho. I know it doesn't look too appetizing when it's sitting here in Tupperware, but holy shit, man, this is actually really good. Um, in here I have uh, tomatoes. I have cucumbers. Uh, let's see what else I have. I have red peppers, uh, orange peppers, yellow peppers. Never green peppers, guys. I fucking hate green peppers. There's really potent flavor and the flavor sucks. Anyone that uses green peppers in their recipes sucks as a chef. They're just trying to mask the, the, you know, the fact that their food has no flavor. <laughs> Anyways, that's my green pepper rant. I hate them. Um, what else in here? I have garbanzo beans, throw some protein in there. Let's see, even though, yeah, I know protein is still important. It's, nothing, it's not as important as most people think. <laughs> just getting quality calories in is the most important. But and yeah, so that's, uh, that's kind of the, the gist of it. If you're really super curious about the full recipe, let me know. I can leave it in the comments. All right. Um, as well as more breakfast here with some cantaloupes. And here, let's talk about my protein. This is going to be um, one of the things I want to mention is I come from a bro diet background, right? I I was I came from the bodybuilding world, and um, so I do you know understand protein and everything. And but this is this is going to be a big source of my protein throughout the week. And typically I'll have like an early lunch and a very and a late lunch. And lentils, garbanzo beans will be the bulk of my protein. Uh, each bag of these is, I think it's like a dollar seventy each. And but oh my god, man, the fucking the this this is the equivalent protein in these bags of like forty dollars worth of chicken. So like six bucks worth is an incredible amount of protein. Obviously, when you when you when you cook them, they get bigger. It's not just you know these small bags here. They get quite large when they're you know start absorbing water. Um, but that's the bulk of it. I'll, I'll, I'll mix them with a bunch of stuff, but this is, I keep kind of bland. I, I, can, I can just throw hot sauce on the lentils and, and or whatever and, and mix salsa with the garbanzo beans, and I'm good. I don't give a shit. Uh, but this is me, guys. Again, most people that are vegans that I know eat a lot more exciting than I do. Uh, my, my food is pretty bland, but that's my background. My food is actually much more bland when I still ate meat. Uh, it was super bland. Like ridiculous, just a typical bro diet of broccoli and chicken breasts. You know, it's fucking <laughs> boring. Okay, so anyways, um, I have quinoa, and I have you know the snacks whenever I might need some you know, need something like a bomber on Cliff bars. They are vegan. Um, 
Success rice. This is my brown rice. Got quinoa, goose goose, some nuts. Um, here's another example. More protein than you guys might imagine. It's you know, every, nearly every morning for breakfast, I'll have a cup and a half of oatmeal, and just the oatmeal. This within each half cup of this uh, is five grams of protein. Okay. And so if I have a cup and a half, that's obviously 15. I throw, I throw walnuts in there, I throw raisins in there, and I end up somewhere like, I think like 22 grams of protein. I mean, so that's, that's pretty fucking good, man, right? That's no joke, that's you know, in one meal. That's, that's more than uh, I guess most people I see <laughs> eat you know, in, you know, for their breakfast. And it's all quality shit, man, to get me fueled. So um, anyway, I use this agave. That's my syrup I use for any time I want to sweeten things up. All right, so here's my fruit bowl. I, I need some more in here for the week, but you know, whatever. Here's nectarines. Um, got some peaches here, apples. Yeah, I just have an extra potato, avocado. I don't have. I, I have three in here. That's kind of a lot for me at the moment. Uh, I, I, yeah, I really don't eat a hell of a lot of fats. You know, whatever. Just, uh, just but so that's a lot of times. This is the main source that I'll get. I still think you know you should avoid fats. Um, it's still the bro in me, I guess, but inner bro and but that's you know let's face it man that's 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 a lot of even the even the good fats it's it's a lot of calories so all right and what else did i mention the uh, cantaloupe eh, i'm sure it was pretty hard to miss so guys this is it um this you know what i'm not it but this is typical for me okay again i hope you don't look at this and say oh my god i'm never ever going to consider being a vegan because uh you know it's such a bland diet you know this is that's just me, okay. I know um, <laughs> I know there's certainly more. You know, most people I know that that, that avoid meat products eat much more exciting than I do. Um, so you know, just consider the source here. That's all I can say. Anyways, guys, um, hope it's helpful. If you have any other questions regarding to this, just let me know, and I'll you know I'll be happy to answer. And you know, it's it's, uh, it's this is something that let me turn this camera around again. Woo. It was a great move on my part. Um, I'm very happy with becoming a vegan. I, I am really like super fueled now. Um, this, this, this past month at my BJJ school, uh, we have been doing five 10 minute rolls. It takes quite a bit of energy, okay? And we've done this in the past, and we've done this in the past when I still eat meat products. And you know, I used to do something like, I used to roll the first one, sit out the next, roll the third, Five minute roll, or excuse me, ten minute roll. Have to sit out again, and then then come back for the final, the fifth and final one. Um, I don't do that anymore, man. It's it's fucking amazing. I um, I stay out on the mat the entire time. I do all five ten minute rolls, and I, listen, I, I'm sure something has to like some has to do with I I'm, I breathe better now. Um, you know, I'm more experienced, so I don't I know how to expend energy better on the mat. You know, than I did say a year ago, and we we did this training. This type of training last, um, so I'm sure it has enhancement. But at the same time, as you know, say I go to the same school and everyone's gotten better, so it's like you know the competition hasn't really changed. It's all relative. I'm saying it just so, but who knows? Um, but I really do feel much more fueled. And the biggest thing I take away and get is my recovery time. Holy shit, man! It is so much better now uh, than it was. So, and it was in the past. Like really, I am like ready to go. Again, there's something else in the past, but if a hard training like that, I used to be able to go like on Monday, and then I, I couldn't even go back to the school the next day. Now, and I, I go days, it's, you know, several days in a row, and no problem whatsoever. And it's just, it has, the only thing that really changed in my life is my diet. So, you know, it's got to be a connection. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. We'll talk soon. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Talk to you soon. Os.